pretty much a, a parody and a farce of the upper classes versus the lower classes. You have this group of people, most mainly two men, who have this whole inner plot where they pretend to be someone they're not, but they take themselves so seriously to the point where it's comedy for everyone else. And then the lower classes are so aware of what's going on and how they treat their situation and they're left to pick up the pieces and pretty much make these men who they are. Uh, my character's name is Algernon Moncrief. Um, the best way to describe Algie would be a Victorian era Barney Stinson. He likes to dress up in advanced clothing and go out and just have flings with women until he meets one that's really special and might make him change his mind. Uh, my character is Cecily Cardu, and she's an 18-year-old girl who is very much into the idea of what being in love is from reading romance novels. So the whole kind of um, being in love aspect of her, it, the way she portrays it is very comical. Her mindset is a little bit younger than the other leading lady. People should come see Ernest in Love because it is a musical, which we don't do a whole lot of here, but it's a really great one, and we have a whole lot of new people in the cast, and we have a lot of talent, and it'll be really great. Uh, you should see this show because it is something totally different from anything I've seen at Quinnipiac in the last three years. Um, we've done great shows here. They've all been, a lot of them have been very serious, and um, this is just a complete departure. It's really light and fun and funny, and you know, you leave uh, tapping your foot and, and with a smile on your face. Everyone in, in this cast is putting a lot of hard work and there's a lot of everyone from seniors to, you know, freshmen in the show and you should go out and support your fellow Quinnipiac uh, students and have a good laugh while you're doing it.